course, I'm not a normal human being that can sleep at 4 a.m. Hey everyone, this is Rose and welcome to my random channel. This is going to be something I don't think I've done in a while. Just a random haul, um, a mix of different things. And I'm probably not going to get to everything that I've been hoarding for the last few months, but there's going to be some skincare, house goods, clothing. I may even show you guys some underwear. Like, do any of you guys that follow, like, all the big beauty gurus remember when Michael Todd Organics exploded? Well, I didn't buy this then. Um, this was something that I got off of Beyond the Rack. Now, Beyond the Rack, I will link it down below. It's a site, like a flash sale site that's similar to Holt Look. You can get things for really cheap prices. In fact, quite a bit of the furniture that you will see once I get through my vlogmas series I actually purchased off that site. Of course, it takes like two to three weeks for you to get your things, but you get stuff for really good deals. Michael Todd, around the time that I needed a new cleanser, was featured on there probably like two or three months ago. And I went ahead and purchased a Cleanse and Tone One Step Cleanser slash Toner. And this is for normal to oily and combination skin. I thought this was all right. It wasn't anything like fantabulous that I feel like I have to purchase again. And I finished this. I think the organic line is great if you have more sensitive skin or if you're just looking for an organic line. There's charcoal in it, so the soap is actually like a dark grayish, almost black color. I experienced some of the worst breakouts, still am within the last couple of months due to me not taking good care of my skin. I thought it worked fine, but I feel like it doesn't really fit my cup of tea of how I like cleansers to perform. Now the next things I actually got off of birchbox.com. That I'll link down below. It is a monthly subscription service that's been around forever. And when you get your monthly boxes in, you can review the products and earn Birchbox points, which you can redeem in the shop. And so I had quite a few points. Probably not even gonna be able to fit this in the frame. Contains like two or three more products than the ones I'm about to show you right now. But it came in this huge box. That's actually pretty adorable. That I am going to use for something else. I got a Liz Earl set. Liz Earl is a I don't know if she has any makeup. I just know her for her skincare. It's a line out of Great Brit Britain. It was beautifully packaged in a smaller white box. Everything was wrapped like in tissue paper. It looked really nice when I opened it. But this was a three piece set and I basically needed a new toner. And this set came with a normal size and a travel size. This is the Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer. Revitalizes, soothes, and tones for instant radiance. It contains aloe vera, rose scented geranium, something I can't pronounce, cucumber, and natural source of vitamin E. I've been using this for the last couple of months. I've not had a problem with it, even though I think my skin is more used to a more harsher toner that's right for oily or acne prone skin. But I did get the full size and then the little travel size. And then the last little piece of this set, I kind of misinterpreted. Like Rose, you need to learn how to properly read ingredients, or not read ingredients, properly read instructions. This is called the Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. All I saw was eye lotion. I thought this was like a lotion type product that you can use on your eyes, like for eye cream, because it says it cleanses. Well, I kind of missed the cleanse part. Revitalizes the delicate eye area. Uh, eye Bright cornflower, witch hazel, and aloe vera. A gentle herbal lotion to soothe and refresh tired, puffy eyes and remove light eye makeup. That's all I saw. This is basically like a watery liquid. It's an eye makeup remover. And so this is what I've been using for the last couple of months. You can kind of use this as a soothing compress. If you moist pads with it, leave them on for five to 10 minutes, which I've not done. This is light, not oily, and suitable for contact lens wearers. You use it by just twisting the top, but oh, there's some bubbles. And then I just squirt the pad. It's actually a pretty good eye makeup remover. It doesn't get all like my waterproof eyeliner off, but my eye area has not felt more dry. 
And I do feel like on the mornings when I wake up with super duper puffy skin, it seems to calm it down a little bit. This came in the Birch Box shipment as well. The Origins Super Spot Remover. This has 1.5% salicylic acid. This little thing was pretty pricey. It was like almost 20 bucks. It's only 0.3 ounces. If you're looking for like an all natural or a mostly natural, no, I think Origins is natural. A natural line that has an acne product, I would say try it. Now with my oily skin, benzyl peroxide tends to work better for me. So this performed fine, but it didn't like get rid of all my acne while I used it. And then the almost $20 price tag, even though I didn't have to pay full price for everything. That seems a bit much. If I want to spend like close to $20 on an acne product, I expect it to clear my face. So there's that. It came in a cute little box, which I don't have readily available right now. The next thing I'll show you I got at Walmart is the Quake Beauty Maximum Strength Spot Treatment. Now this actually has 10% benzoyl peroxide. This is the box. It comes in a little tube. If you're a subscriber of mine, you would know that my favorite acne product is the Clean and Clear Persa 10 Maximum Strength Gel, I think it's called, and it has 10% uh, benzoyl peroxide. I can't remember how or what the price is on it. I think it's like over five or six dollars for a tube. I saw this at Walmart for like two dollars and some change. I've been using it and it seems to be doing the trick. Now I will determine whether or not I will continue using this instead of the clean and clear once I'm done with my tube. My tube is 0.65 ounces. It ends up faring well through the end of its whole performance on my face. Then I probably will be repurchasing this. The next thing I got, because it was on clearance at Walmart, it's a Pantene Truly Relax Oil Cream Moisturizer. Deeply moisturizes and shines with coconut and jojoba oil. Currently using this now, this is 8.7 fluid ounces. I think it works fine. And then I'm sure my hair probably looks like shit right now. It seems to be doing the trick. And I've actually had some of my recent coworkers, I've, I work at a new location currently, tell me that my hair smelled good. The next thing I got at CVS, and I'm a little nervous because for the last like 10 years almost, I've used men's Gillette like Fusion 5 blade with like the, the movable little swivel head as my razor of choice. Why well, I decided to go shopping and be cheap. And I also had some extra care bucks that I was gonna use up. And this is the first like type of women's razor I've used and also disposable razor, which is why I'm nervous. But this is the Big Soleil Twilight 3 blade. Comes with a total of six blades. It was like eight bucks. I think it has a lubricating strip with lanolin and vitamin E. Lavender scented handles. Is that why they call it Twilight? Oh my gosh, I can smell the lavender. That is so weird. They don't come off as being like the cheapo, cheapo, you know, disposable razors. Has a little rip on the underside. And they actually do smell like lavender. And then that's how the head looks. We will see how these work. The next thing is a household item that I got from Beyond the Rack. This is like a Buddha votive candle holder. This is very solid, very heavy glass. I think the retail price for this is like 20 bucks. I think I only paid like five bucks for it. Next thing I'm gonna show you is that last piece from Birchbox that I got out of that order. This is the Marcel, which I think is a Canadian brand, face powder. I've done a demo of one of their BB creams and that was Brandy, my dog snoring in her sleep or snorting, I guess. This is a lot of product, 2.4 ounces. This thing is gonna last me forever, I feel. Oop, didn't have it completely closed. I like it so far. It seems to do a good job to keep me matte. I've also tried the whole baking technique. Now the next thing I have to show, I'm a little embarrassed by because it's filthy because it's been in my makeup bag. But this is the Urban Decay Deep Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Got this at Sephora. It's almost empty. I'm thinking of trying the All Nighter and then maybe possibly trying the Kat Von D next. I think this has worked great, but I'm still interested in trying other ones. And they say this is oil controlling. I feel like it does help with my oil production and keeping me matte longer. 
Now this is something that I got from Birchbox previously that I don't think I've ever showed. Two Christmases ago, I revealed, ha, huh, that I purchased the Coastal Scents Revealed 1 palette because it was like a dupe from the Naked palette. This is the Reveal 2, which I think is a combination, or no, I think this is modeled after the Urban Decay, uh, the third one with the rose tones. But currently using this for the darker shades. Like I've I've actually already used up almost half the shadows in that first palette. So these shadows by Coastal Scents are actually pretty decent. I meant to like film, of course, a long time ago, a more extensive video reviewing that first palette. Maybe possibly I might be able to get to filming something on this. And then here's the weird part. I'm going to show you some of the purchases. I'm going to have to film this haul in multiple segments. So this is not everything that I've gotten from Victoria's Secret recently, but the new Fantabulous bras that I've gotten from Victoria's Secret. Before I show the bra, I'll show you the one top that I have. If you follow me on Snapchat, you've seen this already because this is like my new favorite tank top. This is from the pink line and it says, oh hell no. I think it's cute. All right, so I go to Victoria's Secret and I get measured. Probably, and I deep inside, I already knew that due to my weight fluctuating, exercising, losing weight, gaining weight, that this last time I was measured was when I was really, really thin. Probably like seven years ago that I've been wearing the wrong bra size, also because of just how my boobs looked in my clothes. Got measured. I'm in a completely different measurement and cup size. Um, if you guys are curious, I'm a 32D. And so I basically got rid of all my old bras and just purchased like a whole new wardrobe. I can't think off the top of my head what these bras are called, but I will link them down below in case you're looking for a new bra for yourself. The first one, the convertible bra that they have where you can kind of remove the straps and wear it strapless through an asymmetrical strap. This is by far the best strapless bra that I've worn in forever. I don't know what they put in this thing, but I am a D cup. This thing does not move. It stays in place. And it's not obvious to people that I'm wearing a strapless bra. It's not like my, my boobs are like droopy or anything. It gives them full support. It is padded and it is a push up. The very sexy multi-way. Love this bra. The next one, actually, let me see if it says it. This is the perfect shape. Again, 32D. This is like a dark gray color. Has very light padding to it. And then that's how the inside looks. Perfect coverage. This is just a solid black. I just spilled some of my face powder on it if you're wondering what those white spots are. This probably has the thinnest padding out of all of them. Or actually, no. The next bra and then this bra have the equal amount of having the least padding out of out of the previous two. But this one's lovely. This one probably gives the most natural shape, like no over-the-top push-up cleavage or anything like that. Really love this. This is probably the most comfortable. And the last one I actually do like the most, and I tend to wear this when I have shirts that are backless, because this is a front closure push-up. But again, the padding's really light. But the back of this is adorable. And you know, it's actually not trashy for the straps to show since it kind of has this triple strap action. My light might be washing it out, but this bottom strap is like a cotton candy pink and this is like a baby pink color. And then it has the polka dots. Isn't that adorable? And not only just for look, the straps actually give, I feel like, better back support. Then the next few weeks, you're probably gonna see a part two, part three, part four, because I have a lot of stuff to show you. Now, anything that I can find links for, I will link down below. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in a comment or message, preferably a comment, because I can't tell you the last time I checked my YouTube messages. I should probably do that more often. Do messages still exist? This is Rose, and thank you so much for watching this crap. If you found this at all helpful or entertaining, give me a thumbs up and, su and subscribe if you haven't already and become a part of my random family. And until next time, I hope you all have a great day and you'll see me again hopefully very soon. Bye.